A lot has changed in the Ohio judicial system since Highland County's first legal proceedings were held in 1807 at the Knox Tavern on Hillsborough's West Main Street. In particular, to the location and structure that has been the House for Justice for the past 177 years. Renovations to the doors and columns are all but completed on the Highland County Courthouse, but changes and refurbishments have been a necessity over the years, although the building's architectural integrity has remained the same. Well, the Highland County Courthouse, as most people know, is the oldest uh, courthouse in continuing use in the state of Ohio. Construction was started in 1832 and was actually completed in 1834. There was a dispute about the building, what was done uh, with the original contractor who had died and it had been completed by another contractor, so it went to arbitration wasn't finally settled until 1835. The original cost to construct the building was $6,000. After the arbitration, it was agreed to pay the contractor, who was named Christopher Arthur, an additional $666.66. The courthouse was in pretty much the same condition then up until 1883. At that time, a jail was built immediately adjoining this, and that was housed the sheriff's office. The sheriff lived in the jail, and the sheriff's wife was usually the matron of the jail, which meant she cooked and took care of the female prisoners. And the sheriff was there to take care of the prisoners at night and then during the day, there were the other sheriff personnel around. And that was very common throughout the state of Ohio. But in 1977, the commissioners uh, had a grant to do a project down on McCoppin Mill, and because of uh, litigation, they couldn't use the money for that, and so they were able to get permission to use that money, which I believe was like $360,000, to renovate the courthouse. And so at that time, what they did is they gutted the uh, courthouse, uh, the old portion of the courthouse, um, from the rafters to the basement and took out all the floors. And you could st stand in the basement and look up and see the rafters. The history of what goes on inside the courthouse walls is just as long and storied as the structure and community it stands in. From civil cases regarding the Hillsborough Temperance Crusaders in the 1870s, to the infamous Johnny Paycheck trial in the 1980s, and including the 1925 Boggs murder trial, where so many spectators crowded the upstairs common police courtroom that the weight of the crowd cracked a support beam. When they gutted the courthouse, they uh, took out, or they were able to save some of the old beams that there were so many people in the courtroom that the beam there in the back of the courtroom actually broke, buckled. And so uh, some of those beams were uh, salvaged. I know Judge Hoddle he had a number of uh, gavels made for those, and, and I uh, have one of those that Dinah Phillips gave me when I became judge uh, that were made from the beam here in the courthouse. Although the areas are not accessible to the general public, much of the original architecture and historic features of the courthouse can be seen inside its walls and above the plaster. The original hand-hewn beams are accessible via a ladder in the attic area, which leads to the cupola, where a bell still hangs beneath the gold dome. Above the prosecutor's office, late 19th and early 20th century renovations can be documented through reclaimed lumber that still sport old advertisements and what appear to be circus posters. Although most of the bars and cells of the old jail are now hidden inside drywall, one cell remains, but now houses records instead of prisoners. Outside the courthouse, according to Koss, in the 1800s, Hillsborough truly had a town square, which included a common green area where farm animals used to graze inside wrought iron fencing next to a public fountain. Up until 1976, for decades, the brick of the courthouse was painted white, but was returned to its original color for the celebration of the U.S. Bicentennial. On October 19th, the Justices of the Supreme Court of Ohio will take the bench in Highland County's historic courthouse for a special off-site session and will become another chapter in the history of a building that has served the people of Highland County for nearly 180 years.